Modern interactive technologies and ways of communication allow us to be informed and connected at any time, at any place. The rapid evolution in multimedia does not stop at hospitals. On the contrary, the inexhaustible possibilities of this connected world have arrived in hospitals and integrate patients, nurses and doctors. One of the first projects in Germany that integrates multimedia beds into clinical care is accompanied by Michael Wilke. Also das Projekt läuft unter dem Titel Einführung von The project is called Introduction of Multimedia Bedside Terminals. This title describes all essential aspects. Which multimedia applications belong in a patient's bed? Additionally, it's supposed to give the opportunity to improve functional processes within the ward. We hope for a considerable relief for the staff, especially with regards to the right staff performing the right task. For that, we need to meet the technical requirements. Everything involving catering can be controlled by the patient, independently from the staff. That was impossible up to now. Before, the patient used the nurse call button, no matter for what. That means the nurse was forced to go, even if the patient simply wanted a glass of water. That is where we started. However, the connected hospital bed not only offers more comfort for the patients, it also makes the work of the hospital staff easier. But which technical solution is the system based on? Uwe Stecken, technical manager of the clinic, explains how the system works. We have different technologies integrated in this vernetzung. We integrated different technologies into the system. On the one hand, an open bus system, as well as Bluetooth technology, which allowed us to control the bed via terminals. And we integrated network technology into the terminals to send different data to and from the bed. The process is as follows. The patient presses a button on the terminal and, for example, orders pastry or a coffee or something similar. Then a notification is sent from the terminal to our central message system, which then notifies the phone of the service personnel what which patient in which room requires. We guarantee the safety of the entire system by an IEC certification. All involved systems were factored in and we developed a risk matrix which analyzed the risk. We drew consequences by changing certain parts of the system. The hospital network is separated from the multimedia network and certain information is interchanged at defined interfaces to ensure safety on both sides. For the future, I foresee more and more computerization hospitals, especially in units which integrate high-tech, like surgery and diagnostics. This service terminal is especially important to me, as I can direct my request to the appropriate person, like the service staff or nurses, and then I can operate my personal devices like a radio, TV or telephone independently and without any additional help. In the future, more multimedia innovations will be realized in hospitals to influence the individual care and supply situations of patients. We currently see three different concrete application possibilities we would like to develop. First of all, an out-of-bed detection application, which records if a patient that should either not be able to stand up or simply shouldn't stand up leaves his bed despite. Another item is wetness in the bed, especially regarding incontinence or leakage, for example, of infusion liquids to prevent bed sore in bedridden patients. Thirdly, we are debating the question if a patient's sleep should be monitored in regards to restless sleep, which needs further observation. Essentially, all patients profit from the introduction of multimedia terminals. We have, however, not realized everything we want. At the moment, we are limited to the service area concerning the ward. In the next step, we would like to introduce a direct benefit for the care staff.